Hey guys, this is Aditya and welcome back to Capital Mind video. As usual, let's have the disclosure before we start the video. So none of the stuff that I'm going to talk about in today's video should be taken as an investment advice and clients of Capital Mind may maintain positions in the securities that I might discuss in today's video. So today we'll be talking about interest rate futures. We do a lot of interesting stuff at Capital Mind. At Capital Mind Premium, we offer free and premium articles portfolio strategies and we also have a very vibrant community of traders and investors on our slack channel at capital mind wealth we offer pms and goal based financial planning and we also do capital mind podcast like this is my personal favorite we talk about a lot of things so me and deepak we talk about economy market stocks government policies make sure you follow us make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and you can also follow me on twitter i am at astute aditya uh so let's start the video so let's start from the basics if you remember in the first video of bond baba we had discussed bond yields and prices so in that video i had discussed that when bond yields go up the bond prices go down and when the bond yields fall the bond prices tend to go up so this is the basic concept that you need to keep in mind before you can understand interest rate futures in case if you need a detailed explanation on this please watch bond baba video 1 so let us let us look at 10 10 year bond yields so this is india 10 year bond yield so if if you can see here the year is 2014 and the 10 year bond yield is at 9% okay we are talking about the uh, sovereign 10 year bond yield it's at 9% and by 2017 it had fallen to the yield had fallen to 6.25% and then again by 2018 and it had gone up to 8% and now it's at around 6.8% so can you see the fall then subsequent rise and then again the fall so the basic idea here is can we make money out of this trend because uh we know that when the bond yields go down the bond prices go up right so someone who was holding the 9% coupon rate bond here when the yield fell down to 6.25% his bond price must have gone up right so the idea is how can we money, make money out of this trend so let's have a look if you have followed this series from the beginning the bond baba series you you must be knowing that what is the most obvious thing to do when you know that the yields are going to fall what is the most obvious thing to do just buy gilt funds right the yields will fall and the bond price will rise and you will make decent gains now what are guild funds guild funds are just simply debt mutual funds which invest entirely in government securities so those of you who want a detailed discussion on guild funds please watch bond baba episode 2 so yeah as i discussed the most obvious thing but then again there are questions so what if i want to make kick ass gain from this movement I'm not talking about 10%, 20%, 30% gain. You what you know what happens when you buy a guild fund? Suppose you buy a guild fund and then the yield falls. You make maybe 10, 20, 30, 40% gains. But I'm talking about 4x, 5x, 6x gains. Can we do that using I mean by betting on the bond yields? And the next question is can I even uh, make money when the yields go up? So so far we were talking about buying guild funds when the yields go down. but i want to bet on both the trends up and down what if the yields are expected to go up can i make money on that of course we can that's where we uh, talk about interest rate futures so let us see what interest rate futures are see the basic idea here is very simple instead of buying the bond we buy the derivative of it and there is a reason behind that see suppose the yields are expected to go up what happens when yields go up the price the bond price will fall down right but we cannot short the bond if we know that the yields are going to go up and the price is going to fall there is no mechanism to short a bond so that's why we use the derivative of it so so either we going to uh, buy the derivative or we going to short the derivative so that is the idea behind this so what wh uh, what should we do first what you should do is go to google and search nsc interest rate futures live So you'll see something like this on the NSC website. Let me adjust it a bit. So on the website you'll see something like this. So these are the bonds that are being traded uh, right now. So what is the meaning of this 7.726 GS2029? So this has to be broken into three parts. 726 GS2029. So 7.726 is nothing but 7.26%, which is the coupon rate that is being currently paid on the face value of this bond. 
so coupon rate is paid on the face value and this is basically the interest rate uh, that people receive on the face value of the bond that they hold if you need a detailed discussion of uh, on face value or coupon rate watch bond baba video 1 now gs is government security and 2029 is nothing but the maturity year so this bond is going to mature in the year 2029 and these are the underlying contracts that are available on this bond so 26 12 19 is nothing but the expiry date of this contract so as you can see this is the most liquid one because the expiry is coming near this is very close this is 26th of december 2019 so suppose you have identified the contract on which you want to bet suppose you want to bet on this just remember this okay remember this and we'll go to the website of clearing corporation of india ccil See, when you go to the CCIL website, you have to go to the NDS OM tab. So this is the NDS OM tab. You need to click here. And again, you can see the same bond 7.26 GS 2029. Now this says that this bond is currently trading at this yield 6.98%. Okay, 6.985%. This is the yield. Now comes the betting part. Now you have to decide whether you think the yields are going to go up or going to go down. So let us see how that works. Let us go back, 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 back. Now here we are going to bet on the yield. So now you need to decide whether you believe the yield is going to go up from here or whether it's going to go down. So let us see how it works. So as we saw in the previous slide, this, uh, this bond which yields a coupon rate of 7.26% and matures at 2029 is currently trading at an yield of 6.98%, right? Now suppose for some reason you believe that the yield is going to go down from 6.98% to 6.88% that is a fall of 10 bips right 10 basis points so as we know that when yields fall the bond prices go up so in this case the bond price will go up to 102.48 so you should compare this price with this price so this is 101.81 this is 102.48 so there is a difference of 67 paise so this is this is the gain that you have made in this trade. Now I'm, I'm pretty sure you must be thinking, are you talking about 67 paise? Like really, are you kidding me? But guys, we are talking about insane leverage. So this is a this is an insanely leveraged uh, trade, where one paise move in the futures actually results in the gain of 20 rupees. So your gain of 67 paise will actually uh, give you 1350 rupees in one contract so we are talking about insane level of leverage here now let, let us look at another scenario so uh, something happened on december 12th 2019 so S&P came up with a report where it said that uh, so this was the heading in a leading newspaper so S&P ratings sees debt downgrade for india if economic slide continues you know what happened immediately after this report came out that uh, sovereign bond yields actually went up by 5 basis point. So in, in such cases where you are expecting the yields to actually go up, you should short the interest rate futures. So, uh, but again, you should remember this, this is an insanely leveraged product and the risk here is insanely, insanely high. So please uh, take this discussion as an academic discussion. This was not at all an investment advice. Uh, so I hope you liked the video. I hope you are enjoying the Bond Baba series. We are doing a lot of hard work and coming up with interesting stuffs. And we'll keep doing that. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please follow us on Twitter. You can follow me at Astute Aditya. And make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for your time. See you next time.